you very much, Madam Chair. Uh, I have a couple of questions for Associate Director Medema. I'm very happy to see Congressman LaHood's uh, bill on establishing the uh, Route 66 uh, uh, National Historic Trail. Uh, Route 66 cuts through a substantial portion of my district. It's a very important part of the cultural heritage of the people that I represent. And uh, so um, we're really excited to see this moving forward. Uh, however, there's probably a little confusion about uh, what a Route 66 trail might look like. And so uh, first question for you is, are we talking about the trail being the existing road or a trail uh, paralleling the existing road or what exactly would that look like? Thank you, Congressman, for, for that question. National Historic Trails identify and protect travel routes um, national historic of national historic significance. And but whether it's the Lewis and Clark Trail or the Trail of Tears or the Route 66 National Historic Trail um, as proposed, um, they protect the routes. And so they don't establish a new path of any kind. Um, they protect those historic routes, interpret those historic routes and create tourism opportunities along those routes, utilizing existing roads and infrastructure and partnerships to do so. Right, so do you anticipate a substantial amount of land acquisition as part of this designation? Uh, we do not, no. This is really about locally based partnerships um, and management with partners along the route. Okay, great. And uh, lastly, I know that uh, the National Park Service administered a Route 66 corridor preservation program from 1999 to 2019. Uh, can you talk about some of the successes of that program and tell us whether or not you feel that program laid the groundwork for this trail designation? Thank you very much for that question. Yes, I certainly believe that it did. Those, those partnerships all along the length of the route, which we've heard quite a bit today, um, have laid the groundwork for the proposal I think that we see in front of us. I think it's it's not lost on me that the 100th anniversary of Route 66 coincides with the 200, 250th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence and the forming of the United States of America in 2026. That's gonna be quite a year. And, um, and I think that again, those historic partnerships are gonna be leaned on as we move forward in how the, the trail is managed and we will leverage those partnerships continually um, should this trail be adopted. All right. well, thank you very much. I'm very excited to see this designation moving forward. I know my constituents are as well. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair, you'll back. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Soto. You're now recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chair.